जय हिंद वेलकम टू द सेकेंड एपिसोड ऑफ मैसेज फ्रॉम ओवर मेटर्स टूडे विथ अस वी हैव द पर्सन हु विद द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ मैनेट वर्क्स वेरी हार्ड टू ब्रिंग मैनेट ऑन द टॉप पोजिशन ही इज नॉट फ्रॉम द मोचे ने बी बैकग्राउंड बट स्टिल हिज कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन मेक्स इम नॉट बींग अ पार्ट ऑफ मैनेट ही इज प्रोफेसर श्रीकांत गुंजाल सर वेलकम सर ऑन द चैनल he is from nasik and his contribution in the manet has made him learn a lot of things about merchant navy so without much ado let's straight away get to the questions so please tell us something about yourself great ram um, was thank you thank you for introduction i'm surprised you are done your homework right as introduced i am shrikant uh, at present contributing as vice principal for maharashtra academy of naval education and training pune famously known as manet well uh, to be in short about uh, me i started my journey as a mechanical engineer i started to come to my profession very research in mahindra and mahindra was we always had a dream of pursue some career wherein i could be always in uniform wherein there will be discipline will be the first go as far as my profession concerns then i attempt and uh, uh, strive hard i got selected for indian army as lieutenant colonel but my mother was a concern wherein she was not interested though i pursued my dream further and i appeared for merchant navy as a career wherein i got selected for k line ship management so i am a graduate marine engineer by background post mechanical i completed from chennai and uh, served merchant navy very for very short time almost for 6 months and uh, then joined back to academics again due to family my short journey from assistant professor to corporate relation manager then establishing corporate outreach center for mit dt university and at present with manet so it's a mix of uh, entire journey wherein my profession is from mechanical engineer to convert from marine engineer that present i'm enjoying to the right place probably god is great that's how i'm here that is like uh, how you like uh, thought of getting into manet like how you sort for a very like like short period of time like negligible we can say so how you got like getting into the management sector well uh, manet is a special project for me it started almost a year back when uh, we were having uh, key meeting with uh, dr mungesh karat executive president and uh, vice chancellor of university so uh, we were discussing about the possible potential areas of our university where in manet of course being a top priority as a flagship institute along with our institute of design then we decided uh, to go ahead with a uh, few possible uh, projections for the uh, entire uh, know how and development of anet and that's what sir told me you take it as a project and wherein uh, obviously it is fortunate i was having background of uh, marine engineering with my gym and mechanical so probably i was the one who could understand uh, let's say a non marine and marine background who can deal with uh, mariners uh, or as well as non marine officers and uh, uh, of course i give credit to my uh, sportsmanship when i was a uh, student and my first my graduation from watson college in sangli where in sports which develops me uh, not to be a leader but uh, a thinker and who could always try for the solutions who could find solution in every uh, particular hard attempt or even in any critical situation and that's how my management skills get developed uh, from then so that was in the background and uh, uh, that that meeting defines my role wherein i could uh, get into administration i'll uh, take care of the day to day operations of my and slowly i came into management and probably in decision making of my so i'm uh, hand in hand shoulder to shoulder with our uh, principal the honorable executive president for most of decision making and of course we're starting to question so like you joined we can say couple of years before corona came so during the corona things went very bad what were the challenges you faced here being in the administration sector well the uh, foremost challenge uh, and of course we are proud of uh, being the really great support from all the management and especially i will mention honorable dr mungesh karat Uh, just, just, it was just a day time we took entire decision and uh, uh, heavy investment on online education of course virtual education though we will uh, not allow to take virtual labs for marine engineering cadets 
and you must be aware of that we have done most of uh, remaining practicals in yes. extra hours. So the basic challenge if you ask me is of course uh, delivering uh, lectures, sessions and conducting exams as well. But yes our team is proactive and uh, we sell it through very safely and nicely. With all the protocols so of course for Manet, the protocols of DG shipping and for rest of university from university grant commission. So uh, honestly it was not so uh, difficult as to road through because team was proactive and most of things were at place we just need uh, took time to compile and streamline the activities. That's all. Yes, sir. How do you manage to bring up bring out the qualities in a cadet? Like the HOD of BS, the HOD of Marine Engineering. They take their respective they play their respective roles. How you play a, your role? Well, uh, as I mentioned, uh, I'm more into administration operations and manager side of uh, uh, management or say uh, management for university. As far as quality is concerned, yes, that is our prime motto. And very uh, start from admission itself. We emphasize those are uh, scoring well in IM entrance examinations. At the same time, we do have our own uh, interview round. We make uh, better scrutiny at the internal level, I mean, at the uh, entry level. As far as the cadets once entered uh, an academy, we make sure uh, training is what the key concern for all of us. As usual for most of engineering colleges or any ordinary college, if I say, uh, I should not mention ordinary, <laughs> any other engineering college, I mean, or any other institute, the academics is what the key concern. For being uh, managed side or marine side, uh, we, we, we believe for technical education, hands on education, that's why we have shipping campus, which is uh, probably a niche and sort of the institute of the management and itself a USP. At the same time, we emphasize uh, quality education through classrooms. Uh, we do have uh, various activities wherein not only academic side, at the same time professional development. Yes. So you are being a cadet, you know the entire cycle of exactly. your discipline. But quality, we believe, for practical and technical oriented education rather than only theoretical and academic as such. So hands-on is what we believe as far as quality is concerned. And matching to industry standards, of course, we do have School of Corporate Innovation Leadership, yes, SL, yes. what we know, School of Policy Development. The OLQ classes. Exactly, SSD, OLQ, Officer Life Quality, which makes Manet uh, stand away from the crowd and Manet carriers stand uh, shining in the entire crowd of uh, marine field. And That's the, actually the main motive True. of all these classes and Absolutely. trainings and some experiences. Absolutely. So any like incident in the past years which made you feel like, yes, this is the thing which I won't be experiencing anywhere outside the money. <laughs> okay, well, uh, not exactly as such, but yes, I quote uh, a recent happening. We are uh, striving uh, better, hard for uh, bringing up the placement part. So it was uh, last year, uh, April, we conducted an HR meet uh, that we mentioned as milieu. Ah, yes. Exactly. So the, this milieu name, uh, uh, all credentials to my colleague Sheva, mm. who uh, did her homework well and find out the very uh, good name, I mean, a very yes. creative name. So milieu it's like uh, hand in hand, going together, that's sort of a collaboration. Manet being like this for 20 plus years, uh, we have great partnership with industries. Uh, we do have industry oriented uh, post courses as well. In past we had the uh, training session of Molmi, which is now shifted to Mumbai of their head office. So Manet is not new to marine field as such. The only challenge was to uh, get aligned and streamline our old connections. Uh, as, as the famous quote says, you are uh, either networking or you are not working. Yes. So your network is your network. That's why I believe being the corporate relations side person and into academics. So uh, that HR meet or that milieu uh, brings up a lot of hopes and that's how in the last six months we have placed more than 250 candidates in yes. multinational companies. And probably that will be one of the best record what any maritime uh, institute can, yeah. institute can uh, portray. Because it's not, uh, maritime field is not a number game, let's see. Because I work for engineering colleges as well, I work for management college as well. Where a single company could place say 100, 150 and 200 cad candidates, students. Yes. Right? But here placing a uh, cadet, uh, it's not number game. It's all together matching the industry expectation. And that's why I really give credit to our uh, placement sales, Chief Engineer Kashikar, Captain Dixit and Dr. Rushali Ramkule, 
they are having perfect view of yes. you know corporation and coordination discipline that's all so probably that is the best incident as of now for me and many more to achieve yes, <laughs> so like in the end sir i would like to ask that you have short for the less very less period so you have the gist of what is there in the merchant navy so from your experiences anything for those who want to join merchant navy great well i'll uh, uh, put in very short uh, though it's just a kind of storytelling but i believe those who want to achieve extraordinary and those who want to pursue their passion like say uh, if you compare nowadays uh, merchant navy in terms of salary uh, i'll say even uh, few it companies offer a head to a comparative good salary but uh, that salary probably will not give satisfaction if you pursue a passion yes like uh, in my uh, like i remember my childhood when uh, uh, my parents always used to say in marathi ki me job karna to worthy wala so i'll I only go for such a profession where in uniform will be the key mm-hmm. so i believe uh, those who are really want to achieve something extraordinary merch navy is the answer and that's so many strive for last 20 yes. years being the pioneer in uh, uh, private maritime education one of the first private maritime uh, training institute in india and of course uh, in asia the first who could build mm-hmm. the entirely heavy reinvested shipping campus yes. uh, model of ship inside campus that's how uh, so my my simple appeal or message those who want to pursue their passion achieve something extraordinary and stand out shine with their credentials merchant even manet is answer believing in quality not quantity is what manet manet strives for so here we come to the end of the video thank you sir for giving us the time to go to the channel